Welcome back everybody to another Khan Academy tutorial. Today we're going to be doing percent change word problems. Okay, percent change people don't like, word problems people don't like, so this is probably a double dose of people not liking this, but we're going to take it on and show you that it's really not that bad. Now let me get my little mechanism out here. Uh, Yosef can eat 21, I don't even know what these are, I'm going to call them jammins, while Rose can eat just 15. Maybe they're hamoons? Don't know, but I like jammins. Uh, very gringofied there, but we'll just proceed. Complete the blank. Yosef can eat blank percentage more uh, hamoons, jammins, than rows. All right, let's understand something. So let's say uh, Y we'll call Yosef, and then rows we'll make her R. If Yosef ate 21 and rows ate 21, how much more would rows eat than Yosef, okay? Well, it would be 0% this would be the increase or decrease, okay? So the increase or decrease would be 0% if they, they if Rose ate the same amount. Now you're thinking, oh, she didn't eat the same amount, she ate 15. Why are you doing this? Well, I'm trying to show um, the best way, in my opinion, to do these types of problems. So that'd be a 0% increase. Now, what percent of Yosef's did Rose eat? Well, she had 100%, okay? That means she had the same amount. She had all the amount that Yosef had, 21, 21, okay? That's 100%. If you were to multiply 21 times 100%, that's the same thing as multiplying by one. That's the decimal form of 100. So it stays the same, okay? So a 0% increase or decrease means it stays at 100% of its value. It didn't go up from 100. It didn't go down from 100. Okay, let's talk about a couple other increases or decreases. So let's say it decreases by 50%. Not sure why that guy popped up there, but I think we can get by. All right, so what is, let's say it decreased by 50%. What does that mean? Well, if it decreased by 50%, it started at 100% and it goes down to 50% of the value. Okay, so 50%. If it starts at 100 it goes down by 50%. Well, what does that mean? Well, that means we're going to be multiplying 21 times the decimal form of 50, 50%, which is 0.5. What happens if you multiply 21 times 0.5? You get 10.5. Okay, so if it decreases by 50%, it's essentially, think, think of it as half. So this is a scenario where we have half of something. Okay, the last scenario I want to talk about is what about an increase of 100%? Well, if we increase by 100%, okay, that means we start at 100% and we go all the way to 200%. Remember, 100 is the baseline. If it stays the same, it stays at 100%. So if we go to 50%, that's a decrease of 50%. If we go up to 200%, that's an increase of 100%. You take 100 plus 100, get to 200%. Now, how do we do that? Well, we change it to the decimal form. Forgot to put the arrow here. Change it to the decimal form of 200%. Multiply by 200%, which is 2. So we multiply this by 2, and we get our new amount, which is 42. So if we have an increase of 100%, it's essentially double. Okay, I just wanted you guys to be aware of this. This is a very important uh, screen here because this gives you an indication what happens when you have an increase or decrease. Now, how do we figure out the percent, this column right here? How do we figure this column out given our, only our values? To do that, we are going to, to find the percent of original because that's what you always want to do. You want to compare it to the original. So, Yosef is the original. We're comparing to Yosef. Oh, actually, I think we're comparing to rows. You're just going to need percent more hamoons than rows. So rows is the one we're comparing. So we're going to call rows the one. Uh, I kind of did this backwards, but uh, you, hopefully this, I mean, the, the concept still applies. Um, if I can grab this eraser. Okay, so the original actually is rows. We're going to call rows the original because that's the one we are being asked to compare. So to find the percent of original, you take the new amount and you divide, this is equal to, you divide by the original amount, okay? The new amount, 
Okay, the guy that we're comparing, the, the new guy that we're comparing is Yosef. So we're going to take Yosef's number, 21, and we are going to divide by the original amount, rows. That's the one we're comparing against. Okay, because we want to know how many more than rows. So that's why we're calling this the original. Okay. Now, when we do that division, we do get our calculator, 21 divided by 15. Sorry, I forgot to put percentage. This gives us 1.4. This is not, okay, that's a decimal form. So we need to convert this to a percent, which is 140%. This is not the increase, okay? This is this column right here, right there. So in order to find the increase, we need to say, okay, if it's 140% of the original, so Yosef ate 140% of Rose's, well, Rose ate 100% of her own, so we always subtract 100, okay? Once we subtract 100%, that, that's the baseline, we get 40% here. And that's a positive 40%, which means an increase. If it's positive, it's an increase. So Yosef can eat 40% more than Rose can. So we're going to type in 40 here. And we're going to check our answer. Excellent. Okay. Now that we have the strategy, sorry, a little up front explanation, but hopefully that will make it a little bit more clear why we do the things we do. On my 30th birth birthday, I plan to light 30 candles on my cake and blow 30% of them. How many candles will stay lit after I'm done? Okay, so if you're going to blow 30%, that means you're decreasing. We got to understand this. Blow 30% means decrease 30%. Okay, decrease 30%. So we're going to take the original which is 30, okay? We don't know the new. New is unknown, so we're gonna call them X. Okay, now in order to get X, we need to find the change. So we know if it decreases by 0.30%, we're gonna take our original, and we are going to subtract 30% of the original. Okay, so we subtract 30% of the original. If we're blowing 30% out, we're subtracting 30% of the original, okay? So essentially, this is our 100%, and we're subtracting 30% of our 100%. Okay, so our original is 30, and we need to take find 30% of 30. And that's going to be equal to, whoops, sorry about that. Okay, and that's going to be equal to our our new value, how many candles? Now, 30% uh, percent of 30, we, to find this right here, you just need to do 30 times 0.3. Once we do that, 30 times 0.3, we get 9. So we have 30 minus 9, and that's going to be equal, what, 21? So x equals Twenty-one. Now, there's a quicker way to do this. In my opinion, the best way to do this is if you know you're going to be taking off, decreasing 30% of the original. The original is 100%. So 100% minus the 30% from the original, and that gives you 70%. So what you can do, another way to do this problem is just do 30 times 70% or 0.70. So 30 times 0.7. And, hold on, let me finish this off, equals 9, and then we de decrease this 9 here. We have to subtract the 9. But if you do 30 times 0 0.7, 30 times 0 0.7, guess what you get? You get the same thing. You get 21, okay? So there's two different ways to do this problem. The second one is much faster, but if you're having a hard time understanding that, I get it, okay? But the second one is much faster. So this is 21 candles. A little bit different problem than the first one we had, but uh, still important. Isha, a super excited Khan Academy user, like everybody, has increased her points by 75% in a week. She's at 14,000 points now. Okay, how many points does Isha have on Khan Academy last week? Here's our setup. Oh, how many did she have on her uh, last week? Okay, so she's at 14,000 now. This is a little bit different problem than we had earlier. We had an increase of the original... Okay, original 
uh, plus 75% of the original. So 70, uh, 70 uh, increase your set points. So we want 75% of the original, okay? And we are going to add that. Before we didn't add, we subtracted because it was a decrease. This is increased, so we add, okay? And so we're gonna take our original, add 75%. This is a times, by the way, sorry. I, don't, I can't make it a times. <laughs> Maybe I can erase this. A little better. Ooh, rough. This is a rough go. So you multiply by 70, the original times 75% to find 75% of her original, and we add that to the original. Another way to think of this problem is if we have 100%, that's the original, plus 75%, we can just find 175% of our original and go from there. Now, here's the problem. We don't know our original. Our original, we're going to call X. We don't know the original amount. And we know that we're going to be multiplying 0.75 times x equals to 1, 4, 0, 0. This is where we're going to use combined like terms here. We have x plus 0.75x is going to give you 1.75x. What do you know? That's the decimal form of this guy. 175% is 1.75x equals 1, 4, 0, 0, 0. So to get x by itself, we divide by 1.75, 1.75, and we get x equals 1, 4, 0, 0, 0, divided by 1.75, and we get 8,000. So she started off with 8,000 points at the beginning of, or last week, whatever it is. All right, next question. This is the last one. Uh, the Delhi Metro track is 240 kilometers long. Today, two years ago, it was 200 kilometers long. Okay, so two years ago, this is one of those original problems, original, and this is the new. So to find the percent uh, of that the new is of the original, we do new divided by the original. Okay, and that will tell us what it is. So we do 240 divided by 200. 240 divided by 200. Sorry, I was typing it but not saying it. And I got 1.2. So 1.2 to percentage is 120%. I subtract this, the original amount, which is 100%. The original amount is always 100% uh, of itself. So if you want to find the change, again, for, to find the change, we want to see where it went from 100. It starts at 100, goes either up or down. If it's positive, in this case it is, it's a positive increase. If it's negative, let's say we had like 70% and we subtract 100%, it's negative 30%, so that means it would be, this would be a decrease, just as a future reference, okay? There's no problems with decreases here, but it's a possibility that your Khan Academy has a decrease, so just keep that in mind. This time we subtract 100%, positive 20%, so we're going to go and type in 20%, uh, what percentage did the increase in the last two years? 20%. Check our answer. There we go. Hopefully you found this helpful and that uh, you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time on Wes Explains Best.